Hello there and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our NinaTrader 8 library. Short video, about 10 minutes here today with the brief explanation of the indicator concept, the most important functions and how you can use this uh, in a trading scenario along with uh, a download link to the indicator itself that we're talking about today which is the Shanda Kroll stop as presented by Tushar Shanda and Stanley Kroll in the new technical trader. It is a volatility-based uh, trailing stop as most uh, indicators in this uh, category. It will help manage your profits by keeping positions open as long as they move in your favor. So two stop lines here, green for long and red for short. And uh, you'll close a long position uh, once prices drop below the green line here. And a short exit uh, will occur here uh, when price is uh, breaking above the, uh, the red line. And uh, as for the calculation, uh, the average true range uh, is used applying the uh, arithmetic mean formula. So for a long stop, uh, by default, the highest high of the last 10 bars and um, preliminary stop uh, found by subtracting the uh, three times ATR multiple uh, of the look back period from that highest high. And for the short scenario, the lowest of the last 10 bars and adding a three times ATR multiple uh, to that lowest low. Uh, but these uh, two uh, preliminary stops have no resets. They continue regardless of whether the market is in an up or downtrend. So in a second step here, um, the eventual long and short stop levels are found uh, using the preliminary stops. So uh, you will uh, locate the lowest of uh, the last 20 preliminary for the long stop and the highest of the last 20 preliminary for the short stops. Um, so that is the calculation itself. Uh, more interesting, I think, uh, for this indicator is that uh, it allows you to uh, spot trend bias as well. So um, these green paint bars uh, will plot once uh, price is cleared, the fill area, area moved above uh, both of these two stop lines here. We see the, the green paint bars. And we also have the fill area here. The blue fill means that it's a uh, uh, trending market. And the green line uh, will then move above the red line. And then uh, we have uh, sideways reading as well, sideways scenarios. Uh, when uh, price is interacting with the stop lines, uh, you see these uh, gray paint bars and also the coloring of the fill uh, will indicate a uh, sideways scenario when the red line is moving above uh, the green line. Similarly, uh, for a downtrend, uh, we have uh, red paint bars plotting when price has cleared the fill area. Uh, again, a blue fill will indicate a trending market. Again, the green line is moving above the red line. And then you see the paint bar coloring change when price is moving in to the fill area here. And also uh, the fill coloring uh, indicating a sideways scenario here when the red line is moving above the green line. You can co consider the uh, chandelier crawl a further development of the chandelier stop. Uh, this is the chandelier that we see here and it's uh, either or, it's a uh, long or short, up or down, stop and reverse, uh, no in between here. And so the shandy crawl obviously adds uh, more texture to that picture uh, with uh, the fill area between the stop lines to distinguish between trend and sideways scenarios. And if you want to make the comparison between the shandy crawl and the chandelier stop, uh, you will first align the ATR settings for both, of course, and then 
for the chandelier, you want to have a Donchian anchor, which is the uh, default setting for the chandelier, and also disable the trailing stop feature, allowing for stop widening, which is um, typical for the chandelier. You see a stop widening here and here and here. And uh, then you basically uh, do a long stop uh, by subtracting the ATR multiple from the highest high in the look, look back period and a short stop adding the ATR multiple to the lowest low, um, which is the same approach that is used for the first step of the Shannon Crow calculation. Uh, you can see this by overlaying the Shannon Crow stop. Uh, in that case, you want to set the ATR formula to Wilder aligning it with the calculation which is used for the chandelier. And finally, if you select a reference period of one, uh, the second step of the chandelier crawl stop calculation is eliminated. And as you can see here, making it identical to the chandelier stop levels. So to conclude, the initial step of the chandelier crawl uh, is identical to the chandelier stop. And by adding the second step, the reference period of the preliminary stops, uh, we arrive at the uh, chandelier plots. Uh, they're further removed from price than the chandelier, and therefore you may apply a smaller ATR multiplier and a shorter look back period uh, than for the chandelier. All right, so uh, with this spotlight, uh, your free download is the Shandacrawl stop indicator. You will find that in our trailing stop category, along with the uh, other trailing stops, the ATR, we did a spotlight uh, on that, ATR trailing stop, the chandelier that we talked about here today as well, the deviation stop, there's also the high-low activator, super trend, Wilder volatility stop, the deviation stop, and uh, we also have a bunch of other categories here. In total, about 145 indicators available for a one-time payment of 150 bucks. So that's not per indicator, it's in fact 150 for all of them. Open source library, so you get a lot here for a one-time flat fee, not a monthly fee. And uh, if you're not already a member, swing on by and uh, sign up for that. I think the general consensus is that this is the best deal around in the Ninja Trader community. And so with that, I will wrap up the spotlight on the Shanda Crawl. Appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. If you like what we do with the Indicator Spotlight newsletter and you want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up or a comment here. Some feedback is uh, always good. Let me know that you're out there. All right, thanks again for tuning in. Have a great rest of the week and uh, I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care and bye-bye.